Good morning everybody, it's Mr Niall here again and this time welcome to the School Chapel. This week our act of collective worship is on the theme of love and that is why I've deliberately picked this site for my introduction because we're here by the South Africa banner and if you look at the figures there they absolutely convey the image of love in my opinion as a family but also the sentiments of this banner praying for other people are also an act of love as well. Anyway, sit back and enjoy our act of collective worship. Hello and welcome back to the Oak National Academy Assembly 3. Nice to see you. Hi. So, have you asked Destiny yet, Chris? No, Hannah, shh. Ask me what, Chris? Go on, you know you want to. Uh, I don't know, she's probably not into me. Come on, Chris, get on with it. Okay, okay, chill, chill, chill. Okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, okay. Whew. Destiny? Yes, Chris? Do you maybe think that... Yes? That, uh, your friend Lucy would go out with me? Oh, fine. Oh, awkward. <laughs> Moving on. In this episode, we're going to be talking about love. People talk about love an awful lot, but we're not convinced that everyone is on the same page. Is it simply a feeling that comes and goes? Or is it deeper and more permanent than it can sometimes appear? Throughout this series, we're going to be hearing from a range of people on different topics. I wonder what love means to different people across our country. As a part of the Faith at Home programme, we're delighted to welcome leaders from a wide range of faith traditions. And over the coming weeks, we'll hear from them on these different topics. Here's Imam Asim Hafiz to tell us what his life looks like during lockdown. Assalamu alaikum. May your life be filled with peace and blessings. I'm sitting in our makeshift mosque at home during the month of Ramadan. It seems surreal to be speaking about the mosque in such a way. But what we as a family have realised during this terrible lockdown is that our home has always been a mosque. This is because the mosque is not about where God lives, but it is rather about how God wants us to live. What we have come to appreciate is that when we visit God's house, He is truly that one host you do bring home with you. This reminds me of a saying of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him who said the entire earth has been made a place of prayer for you which is also then further reinforced in the Holy Quran God owns the east and the west so wherever you turn God's presence will be there The one thing that has changed at home is that with the busy lives we have we seem to do God individually or separately and now we have been able to grow spiritually together as a family, which is a much more fun way of experiencing the divine. We hope that this spiritual togetherness we have newly discovered stays with us and that we can carry it with us wherever we go, not just in the home. Wow, it's really cool to see how people across our country are living during lockdown. This weekend, Ramadan is over and it's Eid. It's great to hear and share in other people's celebrations. Eid is an important festival for many in this country and all over the world. Here's Imam Asim again to tell us more about the festival of Eid and how it can teach us more about love. Assalamu alaikum. May your life be filled with peace and blessings. As a unique and different Ramadan draws to a close, we look forward to celebrating Eid. Eid will not be the same this year, and I do not know anyone who has experienced anything like it. The sense of community, family, friendship, and excitement will somehow be absent. However, one of the great lessons of Ramadan is to learn to work with abnormal, unusual, and difficult situations. The idea is that by the end of the month, you have become more resilient, more mentally stronger, and more spiritually intelligent a kind of awakening and reinvigoration that prepares you for the rest of the year. Therefore, Ramadan for me is not about becoming more godly, but rather about becoming more humane, 
It is about respect, sympathy, compassion and love. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is an inspiration for me. For him, God was not in the clouds. He was with the people. That's why he, like so many other prophets, were men of the people. Their path through God was built on how they lived with and loved people and not the time they spent praying to him. So as we celebrate Eid in a unique way this year, we remember that the end of Ramadan is not only about food and fanfare, but it's also about love and respect. Thanks Imam Asim, love is a topic we can all relate to. It seems that love is more than a thought or a concept. LZ7 are an amazing band from Manchester who aim to take music with a message of hope to a generation that needs it more than ever. You're about to see a clip from their single, Give Out The Love. There are some powerful images within this video, but listen out for the lyrics too. those lyrics in the midst of the fun and the energy of the video the lyrics are key this song is about the importance of love but not wishy-washy love love that makes a real difference love is so much more than just like a fancy thought it's a choice and an action and we're called to give it out as well as experience it ourselves here's Kezia and Anya from Archbishop Blanche Church of England School in Liverpool to explain a bit more about love Hi, my name is Kezia and my name is Anya and we are both very grateful to live in a community full of love and to be supported in everything that we do. Whatever we're doing, from dance or skateboarding or hockey to school work, they are always there to love, support and help us. Love is unconditional and is constant. Although we can go through patches in life when it feels like we are climbing a mountain, no matter how hard and tough it gets, we have those who love us to help us persevere. Currently, during this pandemic, many people around the country and the world are showing others love, from the NHS staff to the bin collectors, those delivering food, who we show our love for each Thursday night. As it says in our school vision statement and on John chapter 3, verse 18, let us not love with words or speech, but in actions and in truth. Our community and our loved ones live this in their daily lives, for example, my grandma who is making face masks for the local care home and for people who live around her. And my mum helps by going shopping for those who are unable. And our school has been supporting its community during these difficult times. It is at times like this that it is more important than ever to show love in our world, communities and families. As through love and our actions we are able to grow together in strength and support one another. We leave you this week with two things. Firstly, students from Bishop of Hereford's Blue Coat School are going to lead us in prayer and then provide us with an activity that we can do during lockdown. And finally, we're going to hear Portsmouth Cathedral Choir sing, He is Risen. Christians believe that God loves us all. So we can talk to God anywhere. About anything. At any time. As you begin to pray, Remind yourself that you are loved. Think of a person. Find a quote. Draw something to remind you that you are loved. Pray to God to help you notice ways you could love others. Perhaps the way you appreciate being shown love is different to theirs.
Lord God, thank you that you first love us. Help me to love you with all my heart. Soul. Mind. And strength. Help me to love others as you love me. Help me to communicate your love to others this week. By my actions. And my words. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As director of the Choir Church Project in Portsmouth, this piece is very dear to my heart as it allows us to celebrate God's love using the same notes, slightly rearranged, in a cathedral setting and also in our school setting. Portsmouth Cathedral Choir and Bishop of Hereford's Blue Coat School. We hope you use their ideas and put them into practice this week. And we trust in the words of LZ7, you give out the love this week. Thanks for joining us. God bless. And keep washing those hands. So, I do hope that our collective worship has given you lots to think about on the theme of love. And I hope that this week you get an opportunity to show love. But I also hope that you get an opportunity to receive love as well. Because receiving love willingly is hugely important. Well, all that remains for me now to say to you is, in the week ahead, work hard, stay safe and look after yourselves. And I wish God's blessing upon you all. Take care.